We are back with some more Giants franchise, and we are finally into the NFL draft, our first draft of the season, or of the year, of the series. Um, it's been forever, it feels like, since we've since we've uh, ended the regular season and gotten to the playoffs. We've just been sitting here dinking around for years, but we're finally here. The draft has begun. Um, looking at just the top couple picks uh, right now, we have the Dolphins with the first pick in the draft getting Brendan Harper, defensive end. Um, he's actually a, a pretty freak. He's kind of a monster. Um, he's like 77 overall hidden development. So pretty good pick there for the first pick. Um, the Steelers had back-to-back -back picks in the second and the third. They drafted a quarterback and a free safety. The free safety is pretty good. Um, the quarterback it was like the only quarterback good in the draft. Uh, my auto scout drafted like, or not drafted, scouted quite a bit of quarterbacks. And it's really like, it seems like he's the only good one. He's, he, his ranked true talent was like third, I think, or something. So good pick for the Steelers there. Um, Roosevelt Chaney was on my draft board, but I knew I wasn't going to be able to get him. Um, but he was just there just because he's a beast. A good pick there. Another defensive end um, in the fourth pick of the first round going the, uh, to the Buffalo Bills. I can't talk. Jesus, man. Jaden Brinkley. That's kind of an interesting last name there. But another defensive end. Um, this draft was heavy, really heavy with the defensive line. And uh, so far, we've only had six picks so far. And then the fifth, the Bengals moved all the way up to the fifth. Um, from the, I think the Chargers had the fifth pick, but the Bengals moved up, Chargers traded down, and uh, they ended up drafting Keston Keston Bernard. He, I think, actually was on my draft board as well. Um, but like I said, don't really, didn't really think I was going to land him. And um, the 49ers drafted right tackle Marion Jeffrey. He definitely was on my board. I was interested in him if he could somehow slip, but no way. Getting picked in the six. So only six picks in the draft so far. Um, I'll probably be cutting around to either people that I've people that I've picked um, or people that um, someone picked that has my players. I guess I could show you guys the draft board now just because um, by the time this video goes up, the draft will be done. So we can show you who I was looking at. Um, so far, let's just go to my draft board and just go down. I have it in, in, in somewhat of an order. Um, if somehow these two, one of these two could slip, that would be crazy because these middle linebackers look amazing, especially this guy. I think this guy had, um, no, was it this one? No, yeah, no, it was this one. This one has great combine. His 40 yard dash is six, so he's got some decent speed. He's six threes tall. Um, he's definitely my go to if he could somehow slip. I doubt he will. I mean, we got we have quite a ways before we can get. Um, one of these guys so I doubt he will end up slipping but those guys are amazing the center looks pretty freaking good um, some great receivers as well this guy looks like a beast he's 6 4 first in the vert so he's you know got that can get up he can got the got that vert um, some good receivers some corners here um, decent left tackle we do have Joe Staley but I just I don't know if we're gonna be able to have him we're not definitely not gonna have him for the long run but I mean you know he's he's worth it for now, um, Bo Curtis. I can't remember why I I uh, decided to put this guy on my board. I think it's because I think in the draft news he won. He got like MVP at some um, like college like stars game or something. I can't quite remember exactly what that was. It was in the draft news. I saw it. Um, but there's a lot of good free safeties here that I think are worth looking at. There's a lot of first round talent here. There. Are yeah, true talent players here that are still that should I mean some one of these guys should drop I don't think I'd pick a defensive tackle in the second round um, It is a position of need, but we can definitely wait on that a bit some good corners This guy's an also another very interesting one. I don't know how heavily scouted he one He is this is probably more realistic of a signing that we'll get um, I don't know how heavily scouted this 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 guy was Okay, sorry I had the had a phone call um, but anyways, this is like I said, probably more realistic of a player we could get. He's 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 six feet tall. I mean, he's got good hit power, good pursuit, great tackling. So, um, and his speed is fifth in the middle linebackers, the 40 yard dash. So, um, this could be a great user for us here. I think. Projected was in the seventh, and then when you scout him, his true talent's actually in the second round. Um, so, kind of one of the reasons I traded out, just because. This um, draft class seemed really heavy up uh, up on the defensive line. A lot of defensive, good defensive linemen there, which is something we really don't need. I mean, we're kind of we're kind of hang like don't look nice at defensive line. Um, but Jawan, I'm very very interested in it. 
he could possibly, if he falls to us, he'll be our first pick of this draft. Um, he's looking really great. Especially because we didn't get Joe in the free agency. I was trying to get him because we have a 3-4, obviously, so we got two linebackers playing. Um, so I was thinking maybe we could get a decent middle linebacker and then I could use her the rookie, try to win rookie of the year, and then be a beast, you know, make him just develop into a god. But I'm very interested in this guy right here. Um, some decent other, some more players, but look at I mean, like I said, look at all the defensive tackles. There's just a lot of defensive tackles down here. Um, another free safety, that's okay. Another free safety. Another middle linebacker that's projected super late, but true talent says he's in the third. So this is another one that we could get, and um, this is another reasonable one. He's first in the vert broad, and he's third in bench press, and he's got a decent 42. Um, so this is another a not another not bad of a player here for us, middle linebacker. Um, some decent right tackles. Definitely going to try to draft a right tackle. I mean, it's looking rough at right tackle for us. Um, another okay middle linebacker. There's a lot of... Okay, I guess I'm just getting spammed with phone calls. Hopefully I don't get any more. At least I get them when we're waiting for my pick. I mean, why can't... I wish they would just come in later, but um, another late middle linebacker. I mean, I don't know if we'll draft, be drafting a little middle linebacker that late. Um, and then I got some some fullbacks here. Um, obviously, the draft board's looking a little low just because I couldn't really split the auto scout. I just kind of had to go with whatever they got with me. Um, but I did. There's There was a form that I could have, I, if I put some information and you get a link, some players around the league put some information on a spreadsheet of players they scouted just so we could help each other out for this one. Obviously, it's not like that every single draft, but just because this one was so fucked with uh, auto scouts and stuff. Um, so I'll, I'll be looking at that as well, but I just won't have that with those guys on my board. Um, we definitely need a, a punter. There's some decent putters in this one that I was looking at. Um, this guy looks like a monster. A plus kick power, A minus kick accuracy. This guy doesn't look that bad as well. A plus power and the B plus on the accuracy. Um, this guy looks okay. His kick accuracy is kind of bad and uh, some decent fullbacks. Um, so that's how the board's looking like. Panthers guy still hasn't made their pick, but we're just going to be cutting around. Um, our next pick is not for a while, so um, hopefully we can get some people to fall for us. So we just had two middle linebackers taken um, in the seventh and eighth pick. Those are the both of the, both of the linebackers at the top of my board. Um, this one was okay. It was a hit of development, like 74 overall. But then we did have this homie right here. It's like a 70, what was he, 77 I think is what he was, um, which is a little crazy. Um, both those guys would have been good players if somehow they would have slipped, but I, I knew they weren't. I just put them at the top of my board because I knew they were the play they were the best players that I, I really wanted those guys, but I just I just knew there was no way. There was no way they would slip all the way as far as um, we could as uh, we wanted to. But both of those guys are now off the board. Well, the Seattle Seahawks have stole our middle linebacker, and it is almost our pick too. As you can see, we're in round he picked it in pick 16, just last pick. It was almost there. Um, Jawan would have been a 68 overall. That was the middle linebacker we were hoping to get. Um, just a few picks before us. Now we gotta really gotta figure out who we want to pick with this first pick because it's coming up here very shortly. But that is a rough thing there. I really wanted him, man. I really wanted. Him. Let me see if the picture is posted yet. It hasn't. Um, but damn, I definitely really wanted that player. All right. Well, it is almost our pick, and we're kind of. Oh, this, is this hold the reorder thing going to stay on my screen now, dude? Oh, my goodness. How do I get this off my screen? Hold on. Let me go to my draft board so I can fix this. There we go. Perfect. So, if we just go off our draft board, currently we have um, two, D two DTs, which we really don't. That's not a priority of ours. Um, it's more like offensive line. Um, I really wanted that middle linebacker. Like that was really who I was shooting for. So I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck here. If we um, the picture was sent in the, in my chat for him, he has the guy. If we would have drafted Jawan, he would have had 84 speed. Um, zone would have been awful, but I would have usered him. So he he looks okay. Um, don't know don't know if it would have been a, necessarily a great pick for us, but if we if we just base it off of need I mean I just I mean some of these guys are just look at all these reds down here this is awful we are now on the clock okay and Derek Holt was just selected so here we go first pick for us let's go to our board and wow was that the middle was that that was him wow dude my middle linebackers are 
fucking falling rapidly. Oh my goodness. That was the guy I was going to choose, too. Wow, dude. Holy shit. Okay, well now things are looking very scary for us. Both of them just yoinked right in front of our eyes, man. Right in front of our eyes. Now we got to pray. I mean, this guy's fast, which would be... He's projected early second. I mean, his true talent's a third. I think I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to... I'm gonna do that though. Um, if we just go off our board, I think we gotta go off that right tackle. It really sucks that I couldn't thorough scout thoroughly everyone that I wanted. Um, I don't need a DT right now. I think. I think there's a. You know, we can get that later on in the round. I think our best decision is either this left tackle or this right tackle, um, or the center. Hmm. I mean, he had a decent combine. He's like top 10 in everything but bench press, so strength probably won't be the greatest. I just... It just sucks. I, well, both those fucking linebackers left me, man. Both of them. Um, damn. The left tackle, his combine wasn't that great. I think we're going to go with it. Luke Henry. I know it says third round, but hey, we got to pick people we need, and uh, we definitely need a right tackle. Our right tackles are god-awful, so let's pick him. Luke Henry, right tackle. Let's see what we got here. Wow, 66 overall. Normal dev, not the greatest there. Oh, man. Dude is, dude is not looking the greatest. <laughs> oh, boy. That is not what we needed right there, man. Lead block's okay. I mean, everything's... We'll, we'll just have to see. I mean, he, he might honestly have to be just thrown straight in there and start for us because of how bad our right tackle position is. If we go to our right tackle right now, it is booty cheeks. I'm telling you right now, it is terrible. Let me go there. Yeah, our starting right tackle is a 62. So he's already higher overall than our starting right tackle. Um, so he'll probably still start. We're about to be able to pick our next player. Um, is that is our middle linebacker still here? Did he just get he, is that the guy that just got picked? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? DeAndre, that was the guy I just put on my board, dude. Every fucking linebacker I put on my board, it gets picked up immediately. Are you kidding me? The Patriots are now. This is crazy. Oh my god, dude. I am just I'm blown away right now. I'm blown away. Out. <laughs> oh, I gotta text someone real quick. Okay. Holy shit, okay, we got time to think about this one. Middle linebacker. Man. Man, man, man. He's the second in the 40 yard dash, but his he's ranked fifth. I mean that's super low. Damn dude, all these linebackers just They just don't want to fall to me, man. That is unlucky right there. Where's that guy that's ranked? I mean if even if he's not the greatest we could still I could use him and make him into a beast is the thing he's got B awareness B tackle B hit power he's got an okay combine I have this guy I'm, it's not my pick right I'm next I think right yeah I'm next okay I will be next view my board here so the right tackle was kinda dookie let's go to my uh, draft board again I mean it shows these DTs are just do I get a left tackle? Says he's a mid third round there. I think I'm going to try to wait on him. I think what we're going to pick next is our this center here. I mean, we just he's, he's we just have to. I mean, we're going to have to just pick uh, position of needs, the right tackle. I'm hoping I can get at least someone on hidden development. You know, get a star somewhere. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but I wanted to go look. Actually, I guess we can look there, too. Our center position is god-awful as well. So even if we get it, like, yeah, he's a 66. So um, we'll see how we do here, though. We're going to have two rookies start on the line from the looks of it. Um, I really wish I would have got one of those little linebackers. Who did he pick, though? Okay, left guard. I was going to be, I was going to say, I was like, fuck, dude. Tell me my center is not getting picked right now. Um... I know, I just, I don't need a deep, all I'm getting a defensive tackle for is just depth or a backup. Like, I don't need a starter, obviously, so. Free safety, we don't need to worry about. I think, even though he's, he's red, we're going to have to. He's got three B pluses. I mean, B plus run, impact, and lead block. That's really, I don't think that's that bad. 
Says he's supposed to be a mid third rounder, but we're we, we're just gonna have to get him, I think. And then the next pick, I think I just gotta pick whatever linebacker I want, unless it's I mean, we'll see. I know he's not in the green, but 67. Okay, that's not that's okay, I guess. Let's see what his pass blocking is awful. He's a good run blocker though. Oh, his pass block power is pretty good. Okay. 877 acceleration. I don't think this is that bad. Um, his strength is uh his run block power. He's he's got the power. This dude's got 99 power. That's not it's not that bad. It could be worse. But um, our next pick will have to be a middle linebacker. I think we just gotta get we just gotta get um, whatever middle linebacker we want. Whatever one we want. I know this. Maybe we don't actually. This guy's projected super late. Maybe we wait till the third to get one of these guys. Cause, man, I wish I would have got that guy. I think, I know this guy's higher up on the th on the board here, but just what's his his speed is not the greatest. Four seven five forty. What's his four? Okay, so it's just a little bit slower. Hmm. He's twenty. How old is this guy? Twenty one. I don't want to draft a bunch of red red people in the red though, man. That is not what you want to see. Hmm. Let me load up my because our pick's coming up very shortly here. So let me load up the uh, the link to see if there's any receivers because like my, my auto scout did not scout receivers whatsoever, dude. They were just that auto scout just gave up on drafting on scouting receivers, I guess. Dude, they just were not having it. And no receivers were even put on the on the sheet, dude. Wow. Wow, man. Okay, well, I guess we're we're really going blind, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good. Anyone with like crazy combine stats? Anyone? These are all undrafted guys, so no point of going down there that far, but we got a B plus release on this guy. He's second in the vert. His 40 yard dash is awful. He's kind of slow. Paxson Wilcox. Third in the vert. Man. Man. I just wish that middle linebacker would have fell for us. It, it sucks that two of them were picked like that. Like especially the Cowboys picked right in front of me too. So now we're just now we, if we just go to the board, it's no, there's no reason to pick him in a linebacker here in the second. I might as well use it one of my thirds on him. All these guys, look at all these guys, undrafted, undrafted. Like look at all of them. That's awful. It's fucking terrible. Oh my goodness. But if I use him, that's the thing. If I just sit there and use him every single time, then we have a chance at. At uh, making our making our pick into a god, so that I'm not too worried about. That's why I feel like Heat might be the best decision here. Just get someone fast in here, use him, turn him into a beast. He's projected really late though. Well, we're next on we're next, so we gotta figure this shit out here. We got to figure this shit out. He's projected second round. I think this guy's projected a third round. So not too worried about that guy. Um, damn, dude. I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset right now. Fuck, dude. Who do I get? I am i don't know who to get. We don't need defensive line, so I don't know why I keep looking there. Left outside linebacker. I mean, oh dang, this guy's got a lot of firsts. Vert Broad and second in the bench. Got a pretty good combine. Um, huh. Corners. Just, I just wish I was able to scout. Like I just, I feel like I'm just, I'm just closing my eyes and just sending it right now. Is the is the problem I'm having? Cause I I have no clue who's good, man. These would have been. These all would have probably been scouted. All the positions I needed would have been scouted. Things would have been looking absolutely brilliant. But now I just have no freaking idea. Who does Green Bay choose? Green Bay chooses a defensive tackle. All right. So here's our last pick in the second round. 
of our three second round picks. We've got a center, we've got a right tackle. I think we, we try to wait on one of these middle linebackers that I got here and get him with one of our thirds. So in the second round, our, who do we want to get? 6'6", six, six. he is 6'6", six, six. man, he's freaking huge. A minus catching traffic. Um, JC Harden. Huh. The thing is, is I want to move on from like Golden Tate or Sterling. I don't know if Sterling Shepard. I'm moving on from him, but Golden Tate next year. I, I'm trying. I want to try to deal him. I want to try to get rid of the homie. Um, so I don't know. Just don't know if uh, one of these guys are going to be the answer. I mean, they're projected super high, but then they've. They're all the way down here at three and four. But I guess that's just what happens when you draft with a bunch of people, dude. You just get absolutely screwed because everyone knows who's good. 36th, so he's, the 6'6 guy's a little bit faster than him. 10th and 12th in Vert and Broad. 10th and 12th, so his Vert is a lot better, but he's, he's also a lot taller. 8th in Bench Press, he's got some strength. I think I'm going to go with the 6'6 guy just because get a big guy. I like having big receivers. 66. Okay. All right. All right. 90 speed. Okay. I like that. 90 speed at 6'6. I definitely like that. Okay. Okay. Juke move is god awful. It looks like I'm not juking at all with the homie. Good God, dude. Jesus. Release is okay. This isn't that bad. 90 strength, 90 speed at 66 is kind of insane. So I'm I'm really not too too uh, upset about that. We'll look at, we'll look at the stats more deeper once we get in once we get farther in the draft. But I, I'm I'm okay with those three picks. I'm okay with them. All right, we are back on the clock and we have two of our third round picks. We do not have a fourth round pick, so we have two this pick right here and then a pick in, in a couple rounds. Um, Middle linebackers just are just non-existent apparently anymore. I mean, it, I just don't think it's worth drafting one right now, as you can see. Fourth, fifth, undrafted, undrafted, undrafted. Um, this guy looks okay. This guy looks pretty good too. I just found this guy first in the 40s pretty quick, so he's undrafted though. So we can probably wait on him, I would assume you could wait on him. Um, so if we're just going off of our board, it's our board's looking pretty shit too. I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking the greatest. Um, okay, we gotta we gotta figure out what we want here. I'm probably gonna go corner. I just don't I just don't have anyone to scout, so we just gotta kind of just send it and pray. Um, this guy seems in the third. Ooh. Oh boy, well, well, we're kind of fucked here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just pick. Uh, I guess him. I mean, I, I have no clue who, what good, if these corners are any good or, or not. So we're just kind of going in, man. Let's just pick this guy, actually. He's more... The let's see what we got. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. I don't know what to pick, man. I think it, it sucks not being able to scout. I mean, you have no... I have no clue. I, I, I didn't even get to see his stats because I was so disappointed with that selection. <laughs> didn't even get to see the dude's stats, man. Oh my goodness. The dolphins oh, this guy's. This guy look, looks okay. I mean, I don't know. He could move him to left outside linebacker, maybe. I mean, we gotta we gotta figure this out quick here. Or do we just draft one of our middle linebackers? Um. Let me go to the middle linebackers. I think we just get one of them. We just get someone. The one we want. I think I'm gonna get this guy right here. B plus pursuit, B awareness, B tackle, pass coverage guy. We'll see. I feel like I'm drafting everyone with red true talent, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. I mean, we don't need we don't need li defensive line. We don't need we got a right tackle already. I mean, we could draft another one later to see if the, they're better or not, which I might do. Or maybe we can move one of them to left tackle or something. Or vice versa. Maybe there's a left tackle that looks okay. How much more picks we got? Ooh, 51 overall. At least I'm not doing that bad. 
Jeez Louise. Jesus, man. See who the 49ers pick, and then we'll go in. I, I just, I think we got to pick a middle linebacker. I mean, we've been, we've been snapped, we've been robbed a couple times of middle linebackers. I think it's just, yeah, he didn't pick. Okay. Yeah, we don't got to pick for a while until late, in, or I think it's like mid, in the mid rounds, or the mid picks of the fifth round, something like that. But I think it's just, we just got to go with him. He's only, he's 23. Let's just pick him. Let's see. We've reached only slightly. I mean, not that, not that bad. His true talent's one on one, and we picked him at 95. So, I mean, not that bad. 66 overall. Once again, another normal. Unfortunate. His speed, acceleration's really good, which is pretty good. Zone, okay. Catching 75. It's not that bad. Hit powers. Eh, I don't know. A little rough. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, now we got a long... Oh my god, I hate when it does this whole to reorder shit, dude. Now we got a long, long, long wait. All the way till the fifth round, so I'll see you guys then. We are one pick away from being back on the board here. And that middle linebacker that was first in the 40 and all, all that has been selected. So, um, he's a goner. Unfortunate. But he is a goner. Don't really know who to pick here. Uh, I, I was thinking, I think I was going with this guy right here. Just going off of, hopefully, I mean, he's average. I'm just going off of the projected third round thing. I mean, like I said, it's just it's just so tough trying to be able to scout these guys when you really can't do much. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do him. I think I might do this guy. I like my corners to have some height on them, so I think I might actually do this guy. He's 6'2". Don't need running backs or anything. I think, yeah, if he's here, I'm going to pick Quincy. And then with my next fifth round pick, I'm actually going to pick someone on a board. I was going to pick uh, this right tackle right here. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll see what he's all about. He's 6'6", you know. We'll see what if he's better than our other one. And then with our sixth round pick, hopefully we can get this guy. That is the plan. Get him. Without, we got our fifth round, other fifth round pick here. Sixth round pick there. Let's see who Giants they pick. They pick a the fullback. So we are going indeed to go and pick that guy. Can we get someone that says we haven't reached for once? I mean, that would be pretty cool, right? If, if we could get a position and where it says we have not reached. I mean, that would be just outstanding. But Quincy Cook, second corner. Um, we do need some help at corner. I don't know if Daryl Worley will be the answer for us. Haley got destroyed a lot last season, so got to get some depth here and see what, what kind of guys we can get. And we have reached 60 overall, 6-2. He's fast, though. Got some man coverage on. Good, decent man. His zone. Oh, my God. His zone, his play recognition is so bad. Holy shit, his zone and play recognition are terrible. Interesting. Aggressive play ball tendency. I like that about him, though. Don't know about that pick. He might, he might be practice squad for that guy. Um, our next pick is pick 26, so we got a ways. Um, hopefully, we can get that right tackle. All right, we are next up on the board. Um, we did not get that right tackle. Um, he, he got picked quite a bit ago, so that right tackle did not drop to us. But I do have a player in mind. With um, Devin McCourty being just a, a rental for us for this season, he's not going to be um, here that long. He's just going to be here for a year, and he's gone. I don't have plans on resigning him. And with Julian Love, don't really know if he's going to be our, the guy for us for the future. We're going to be drafting Casey Wayne. Maybe he can develop behind Julian Love for a bit or sit on the practice squad for a little bit or something and then um, take over the job next season. Um, just have him develop for a little bit, and let's see what we can get with Mr. Casey. Good pick. Okay, 63 overall. We got him at a... We got him at 154, he's ranked at 133. Let's see what his stats are. Oh, jeez. A lot of red. That's a lot of red. Wow, okay. Well, maybe maybe, maybe he won't be taking Julian Love's rot spot. Holy shit, dude. Damn. 58 play recognition. 58, man. Wow. Okay, well. <laughs> don't know about that one. We are next up, and uh, we our defensive tackle. Finally, someone that we were looking at fi looks like they might slide to us. Marquan Cecil, um, unless he took him, he did not. So we will be taking him. 
he might be our backup DT. He might be our third string. Who knows? We'll, but uh, we definitely do need someone there. Um, so I know we we I did sign a defensive tackle, but um, just don't know how long that guy's gonna stay there. But this guy's projected in the sixth. We're in the sixth. Let's see what we do. We get him. Normal dev. We got a good pick here. Still can't get someone with uh, you know star or something. 86 strength. The rest is kind of just meh, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, we got two seventh round picks. So I think what's going to happen is we are going to um, pick a punter with one of these because we do have um, all of our punters available. I don't think anyone's picked a punter. And there's some on our board. We still got the GOAT, man. The A-plus kick power, the A-minus kick accuracy is still there. Mr. Cameron. We let our punter go because he was not the greatest. So I'm hoping he, Cameron can stay and we can pick him up. Well, unless the Dolphins take our uh, punter, then he finally has made our way to us in the seventh round, pick 10. Hopefully he, the Dolphins do not choose a punter because I would like to get him. He's the best punter on the board from the looks of it. Hey. Yes? So this Roomba thing? Can you call Kelly about it? Because I'm in the middle of something right now. Oh, okay. All right, bye. Nice. Unless the Dolphins pick the punter we want, we will be getting, um, I probably already forgot the, our punter's name. I already forgot him, but I, he should be a beast. Cameron Hawkins. A plus, A minus. I mean, that's, that's probably as good as you can get. Looks like to be the best punter in the draft class. Hopefully we can get him because we let our punter go. Our punter was straight cheeks. I feel like we were punting like 30 yards every single time. Um, it, can we get a can we get a good punter? Maybe this is maybe this is gonna be the the punter that we get a superstar on or something, <laughs> or a star. Our first hidden development trait is gonna be our punter. Um, watch the Dolphins take him. Though. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get screwed over like that, dude. It just seems to be how things go for us. And will he choose him? And the Giants. nope, tight end. All right, so we will be taking that punter. Let me see what you got here, buddy. Please be a beast. Okay, we definitely need you, Cameron. Cameron Hawkins. Look at those stats, baby. He's an athletic freak out of UCF. Okay. I wish he wasn't normal. Apparently, he's ranked 14 in true value. What a ad. Oh, look, he's got freaking dreads, dude. Okay. Okay, dude. 91 kick power, 84 on the accuracy. He's got some speed, dude. Maybe we do some, some fake punts. Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm fine with this. 74 overall. I am totally fine with that. All right, so we are in our last pick of the seventh round. We're just going to go ahead and pick a fullback that we scouted. We do need a fullback. We let ours go, and I'd rather get a guy that I, that I know for sure is going to be somewhat decent than try to just blind pick because this is the only guy left pretty much that we have scouted so i might as well just get him 67 overall not bad let's see his ratings here 86 lead blocking got some decent acceleration okay okay speed's not really there but that's okay 86 lead blocks really good so that will help us out i don't think i don't think our uh the fullback we had before was that high in um our lead blocking so that's good to see that will be the end of the draft, though. I, I don't know what's going to happen once the draft ends. We'll, be able, we'll probably be able to finally see our players. So um, I don't know how long. I'll, I'll cut here because I don't know how long these three picks will take. All right. So the draft is officially over. We can go ahead and look at our players right now. Let's see what we got here. So we got them all for four years. Some, some of them will probably go into the practice squad, I would assume. Um, Really not that. I don't think they were. These players were that bad. I mean, I I kind of expected a lot of. I didn't really get any like really bad picks that were like 50 overalls, you know. But I did kind of expect uh, the draft to kind of go like this. This is what I was hoping for, honestly. Is a bunch of like okay people. Um, I was. I saw someone put in our Slack chat that they that they um they had a 64 overall lineman or something like that, and then within a season he developed him pretty high. So I'm not too upset with with my players that I've drafted. Um, 66 overall right tackle and a 67 overall center. These guys will probably both start. And honestly, I probably will both focus train them in my training. And then I'll probably focus train these two with Daniel Jones. Um, I almost have enough tokens to, oops, we're advancing. I almost have enough tokens to get Daniel Jones to, uh, maybe by the time this video comes out, I might actually have enough 
to get him to star, and then um, that will be looking real nice. Our wide receiver that we got in the second round as well um, will be interesting. He's, he's very fast, 90 speed at 6'6". Six, six. I mean, that's, that's going to be nice right there, I think. I think if we could find a way to utilize him, that's going to be really, really nice. Um, 62 over our corner. That one wasn't the greatest, I'm not going to lie, in the third round, but we definitely needed some corner help. Uh, we also got a 60 over our corner, so um, don't know how those guys will fare out. 66 overall middle linebacker. So here's the rookie that we got. He's 23. He's 5'11". Um, what, what was his catching? I forgot already. Where's his catching stat at? 75. So I don't know what Ryan's catching is, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's, I think it's less than 75, honestly. I'm not too sure, but um, he'll probably be the, I'll probably start him. His awareness is pretty high. 77 for a rookie, that's, that seems pretty nice. Um, 88 acceleration, but I definitely think that um, he will get the start along with Alec, maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, just, and then I'll be using him the whole time, trying to develop him as much as I can. Uh, not the middle linebacker we wanted, but um, still not too bad. Moving over to free safety, don't know if this guy will be the free safety for us for the future. I really don't know. That's not. He's not looking too good. Um, our punter though, our punter was a great pick. I mean, 74 overall. He's got the locks. He's looking real nice. So he will should be a beast punter for us. Hopefully better than our last punter. Our fullback is just a fullback. I mean, it is what it is. So we move on to the preseason where we're taking on the Dolphins. I don't think. I'm gonna record any preseason games. I might play a couple. I'm I'm not too sure. I'll definitely do my training and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna actually physically play um, a preseason or not play record a preseason game. Free agents. Let's go take a quick little look at the rookies. Um, there should be a, a a little waiver thing that we're gonna be running here pretty shortly. So let's see what we got. Um, some of these guys have been signed by people they just haven't actually went in there and put the contract in like I know Melvin Gordon's on the Texans or something right now but the Texans person hasn't went and did it so those guys we're not too worried about I do want to look at the rookies though so punter 71 overall that was one of the guys we could have went with um, Deontay Foreman oh okay I was like that does not look like a rookie to me where's the oh I should not be in the top 100 I should just go let's go like by receiver let's see what kind of receivers we got here 65 overall, okay, slot guy, not too shabby. Let's look at his stats. Oh, he has hidden development, Trent Bags, really. 80 short route running, okay. Aggressive catch, possession catch, right after catch, five for yards, on big hits, covers ball. Oh my god, this guy looks like a monster. Definitely going to be writing his name down so uh, when we get the waiver things going for the off undrafted players. Let me, let me write his name down real quick right now because... Uh, that is an interesting, interesting play right there for us, especially because if I want to get rid of Golden, um, you know, then got to be looking at players like that. Anyone else look interesting? Any rookies? I'm just trying to look for high-rated rookies right now, but not seeing too much. Yeah. Um, let's move over to what else we got? Like any left tackles that slid somehow? I doubt it. The linemen got picked up. A lot of linemen got picked up, so I doubt any linemen slid, but we'll definitely check. Yeah, look at all these 50s. Yeah. Everyone scooped up those linemen, man. Jeez. 62 overall. 62. Yeah, not worth it there. Any middle linebackers, maybe, potentially? Nope. A shitload of middle linebackers were picked up as well. Damn. Just a bunch of low 60s and 50s. Um, left outside linebacker, we really don't need, but we'll, we'll check. I was going to say, if this is a rookie, this is crazy. Nothing really too much there. That wide receiver load looks really good. That one, that the I really am interested in that guy. Hopefully I can pick him up somehow. Connor Lucas, 6'2", 93 speed. His zone's just god-awful, though. God-awful. I don't know. I, I, I think I'll write down Lucas, though. Connor Lucas. Go ahead and write his name down. Make sure I don't forget these people. Um, this video will definitely be coming out after I uh, after this happens. So you guys, so I can't give away all my players I'm, I'm looking at here. Free safety. Not much there. 
free safety. A lot of free safeties got picked up, so probably, yeah, not too much there. Strong safeties. Don't really care for strong safeties, to be honest. Fullbacks, were there any crazy, crazy fullbacks? No, we looks like we got the best one. So that's always good. Halfbacks. Um, I'll take a look at the speed just because I don't know. Maybe I put my. I think I'm going to put that 6'6 six, six guy as a kick returner for now, though, and just see how he is. Um, but those that that Trent Bags guy. Let me take a look at him again. That guy's very interesting. I I don't know what the priority is going to be, the waiver priority when we do this stuff. But um, I have a feeling mine's not going to be too low, and I also have a feeling he's probably going to get scooped up right away because he's at the top of the list. He's a 65. He'll probably get scooped up pretty early, but um, that's definitely a player I'm very interested in. I'm very very interested in him. He's good short route running. 77 juke, 80 spin. Yeah, it sucks though, because I don't think I'll be able to get him. I think someone else will snag him, but we'll see. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I guess, actually, let me, let me uh, before we end it, I guess, we could put our rookies in how we want. Ryan Tannehill's definitely not our starting quarterback. Saquon, let me just adjust everything. Our fullback. He's got glasses on? He's got glasses on. Okay, dude, I see you. We're going to put our other tight end here. Where is he? There he is. And then we'll put, um, we'll just keep Wayne, I guess. Why not? Slayton's finally back from, from injury. He's going to be our starting wide receiver. Golden Tate regressed quite a bit, which is um, unfortunate. Wish, it, wish he wouldn't have done as bad as he did. But um, I am going to move this guy up a bit on the roster because I'm very interested in, in the homie here. Mr. Downing. We'll keep it... I'm gonna keep the receivers like that for now. Um, Golden Tate, I just, I, he's just, he's getting too old, man. I know, in, I know in real life he like pops off. He's still a good player, but in Madden, he's just gonna keep regressing and regressing. So um, definitely want to give him a, a go in preseason, though, for sure. So we'll keep it like that for now. There's our tight ends. Nate's still gonna have to be our left tackle. Um, left guards definitely will. Here's our one of the left guards we signed. Our center is going to be the rookie that we drafted. Right guard is still going to be Zeitler. Right tackle is also going to be a rookie with um, not you as our backup. Where is the Mr. Wheeler as our backup? Luke Henry will be taking that spot. Um, obviously, Dexter is going to be our starter and BJ Hill. Nothing really new there. Um, Al Woods, I'll keep Al Woods there. I'll keep our rookie here for now. I'll keep that just like how it is. Um, I also will put, where's X-Man? I'll bring X-Man up a bit. I'll put him as our backup, but Marcus will get the start for now. And here's where things are going to get interesting. I want to check catching, because this guy has dropped a million picks, so what's his catching? 54, okay. So he has better catching than Alec, interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, this, this guy's catching is not good. He drops a million picks for us, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to give him the start. Have Alec be our second linebacker. I know Ryan led our team in tackles last season, but I just I think I think Alec has a better zone stats. Oh, he doesn't actually. 64 to 68. Man's better. His press is better, but I mean, when am I going to be pressing really? Maybe I maybe I don't play him. Where's um, awareness and play recognition? 83. Okay, so this is where it's different. I think, yeah, I'm going to keep Alec here for now. We're going to start Ben. I'm just going to user him as much as possible. Mr. Ben Ham. Going to have to be going off. He has the same acceleration as all three of them, so he's going to be just a little bit less on the speed. But um, definitely, hopefully, can get him developed as quick as we could, as quick as we can. Lorenzo, obviously, is going to be starting there. I think I'm going to edit some of my packages as well and put Lorenzo in more. So I think that's one thing I'm going to do. Um, Ballantyne and Sam Beal. I mean, our corners, I think both corners we drafted are going to go straight to the practice squad, to be honest. I'm not not too sure where I'm going to put them, but can I put them up more or no? Yeah, I can. But I think I think that's what's going to happen with them. Straight to the practice squad. Devin's going to be starting there. Obviously, Jabril. Kicker and punter. Punter's definitely going to be starting. Kick return is going to be interesting. Um, Slayton should be up here. Cook, eh, I don't know about you, buddy. Where's our Where's our big guy? I want to try him out at kick returner, though. Tony Downing. Bring him up here. Definitely want to try him with 90 speed. Got them long legs. We're going to try him out. Um, I guess we can put Quincy. I guess, no, because they're going to go to the, they're going to go to the, uh, 
um, practice squad. So let's put bring Emmanuel Hall up here as well because he was, you know, one of them. We'll put him there, Slayton there, and then I guess I'll put Valentine there. I guess we'll just put it like that for now. Jabril's still going to take our punt duties. And let's also put... Um, huh, who do we want to put as our backup in case? I guess... I don't... I guess we'll put Tony there for now. I mean, I don't really know who, to, who else to put there. So, for now, we'll put him there. Russell... Valentine, and then we'll just put the Golden Tate, I guess. Why not? Kick off, who's got the most kick power? Oh, our kicker still does by quite a bit. Long snapper, Zeitler. Make sure Saquon's our third down back. He's our power back. He's everything. Slot receiver. We'll still give it to Golden. Still going to give it to him. Um, definitely, if I can get that that rookie, though, somehow, I, I might be very interested in giving uh, giving that to that rookie, honestly. Um Rush left end, I'm going to put Dexter up there with Golden behind him. And then X-Man. Right side. Why is he up here? No, get, get Lorenzo in here. And then we'll put BJ Hill as the backup there. Um, just, I think we're going to... Or no. We'll keep it that for now. I might switch that off camera. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll keep it like that for now, though. Defensive tackles. Put them all in there. Sub linebacker, bring in, bring in um, the new guy. Where is he at, Mr. Ham? Ben Ham. At least he has an easy name. So in case if he does go off, then it's gonna be a really easy for me to uh, to to even remember that. Ben Ham. Slot corner. Haley's gonna be our slot guy for now, and then we'll have Valentine, and then we'll just put I guess Beal in there for now. Practice squad will probably get filled, like I said, with those corners. So, but that, we'll leave that for now. We'll uh, end the video. It's probably be a pretty long one, so we'll end the video here. And um, next video will be the regular season. I'll be recapping preseason and stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.